Yes, great to be with everybody today, mate. Um, I really uh, feel we're doing a lot of uh, eye awareness as we put everything together. Um, and so it's really great to be with everybody. Um, we've really been talking a little bit about the value of uncut wood. And is it amazing that there's a value of something that um, is of itself and doesn't have to be improved, you know? Um, but um, how can we um, improve upon this moment? Um, it's not possible necessarily. Um, but how can we um, improve upon the past? Certainly you can't. Um, and how can you improve upon the future, uh, which hasn't arrived? Um, you can't. I mean, um, it, it, this is the value of a stone left unpolished, you know. But um, is there a general sort of a pattern we might ask ourselves, you know, uh, through life's up and downs? And, um, you know, um, if, if our awareness really is equal um, to not living uh, for some future goal, I mean, eye awareness is not really li not living for some future goal, certainly not. Um, and this uh, knowing is within us, um, and this is the voice within you, um, and this is the voice that comes from inside you, um, and this is not imparted to you, but that this is something that's coming from inside you, um, and this is versus sort of some gathered uh, knowingness or something outside. Um, but eye awareness really is equivalent to a science as a part uh, that's equivalent uh, to no wrong, um, which is that's not equivalent certainly to uh, people pretending claims and things um, uh, to the whole. Um, but when somebody's really uh, uh, pretending claims to the whole, uh, that's where things really go wrong, you know, because this is really not about perfection, uh, but it really is more um, my... Uh, beingness and yours and our listening right now in our totality and coming from our, our totality. Um, but eye awareness really is equivalent to laws really being upheld um, and if they're not, then they're not, you see. That's all. Um, and this is applied as I is the way really and all uh, the religions that are existing really, uh, really uh, become more the means um, for this, you know, uh, to be achieved, yes. But we really need to be living very deeply and tremendously, um, and that's what I care about in this uh, programming, um, that you're having the ability uh, to be equivalent, of course, to this, uh, to be very far away and very deep, deep inside as you are uh, listening and, uh, and to this living uh, deeply, uh, tremendously. But we definitely should be choosing what's new, mate, definitely. Uh, and we should not be accepting anything old anymore. Um, that's not right. Um, and um, you need to use your voice. Um, but that doesn't require any degrees, as we've talked about. It doesn't really require any steps. I mean, this really is more your beingness within yourself, and this is the quantum leap within yourself into the unknown and opening up what you um, have within you uh, that you're seeking, what is unknown, um, but all one um, really is equivalent to what's essential, um, and this is you um, and I, and, um, and this is not equivalent to being sort of lonely, even though, of course, uh, someone could be lonely, just as someone um, could feel grief um, and loss, and they cannot maybe necessarily get to rah-rah because they do have something which we're uh, integrating uh, some loss. But uh, loneliness really is probably equivalent more to an accident more um, and something being more uncaused um, is, ha is causing that. But, um, but um, an accident continued and continued is the loneliness really. Um, and um, but, um, emptiness is really equivalent to something which is not um, your thinking or human made at all. Uh, but um, to become a means uh, to some end, as uh, we use a, a boy's life so quickly, for instance, and not to be uh, concerned about the person who could have become a puppet um, or a um, uh, just a, uh, a, a figure um, of an archetype of something to be put upon um, as a person, and um, we can be. Not, we can be dissociated um, and not considered that this is our baby and this is 
someone's son or this is someone's daughter. Um, but um, people really are full into uh, desire and all of that, and more is better, and burning more rubber on the road, as we've talked, and building bigger houses and things like that. Um, you know, it's, it's really um, a metaphor for desire, which really is like a wind blowing over the rubbish uh, that's not still at all. And um, it's really um, the uh, 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 riding of an appetite of the beast, um, you know, um, and uh, but that's a behaviour which is not uh, social. And that, but we need to be able to recognise fully within ourselves uh, and express what's more social. But certainly, uh, being relaxed um, and having more relaxation, um, you know, in yourself, uh, being equivalent to timelessness, um, um, and, and and knowing what you can do and uh, knowing what you can't and um, uh, really having a uh, really good deep courage to, and conviction to ever be aware of what's possible to be um, and to, and to uh, uh, keep hope and um, and feel hope within yourself and uh, feel possibleness and uh, feel and look and keep an outcome that you have within yourself. And this is really uh, uh, just simply being empty and recognising that our playfulness and our playful state of our being really is our is a person's true state of being. Uh, but that uh, persons who are not so really uh, are playful within themselves at all, um, or maybe not uh, expressing really whole bone functioning in their behaviour, you know, um, and that could be sort of uh, problematic, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> How you doing, Lucy? Are, are you there, mate? Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, um, nothing really is uh, causing anything else, you know. Um, uh, you really could say this, um, that all really is the essence of uh, I being uh, self-existent. And um, as I um, aware, everything really is part of the whole and no real individual separateness um, or part exists, you see. Uh, but uh, you can really see a condition, uh, perhaps, um, and we could see a condition. Uh, but that, for instance, you completely see, uh, completely, uh, you complete something, for instance, before um, entertaining another project, um, and um, so uh, uh, you really might start a lot of things. It's really uh, what you're actually getting done uh, that really counts. Um, but events really are not caused. Um, yet really uh, necessary um, and a certain condition um, is uh, created. But um, a construct really only has uh, heuristic sort of value um, more by sort of something sort of being explained, you know. But um, um, I um, really is more not a, not a linear sort of a dynamic or a straight line at all, um, but a very much more non-linear and not square or angular uh, but um, is, as energy is around us, more circular uh, and dynamic, where the sameness really is, is requiring some uniqueness, and, and this is uh, creation, um, uh, which is not at any uh, standstill, uh, because you've got um, degrees of uh, something which is sameness, but there's a uniqueness within this. You and I really uh, put out what uh, summons uh, back, and I is more sort of cyclotronic um, and uh, circular in its dynamic. And, uh, and then linear thinking and uh, straight sort of thinking and things and square or uh, angular sort of uh, thinking or uh, narrowing down on something uh, can be uh, uh, dismissing really um, everything, cause which is what the whole is of this great cosmic world of life. But unique linguistics and language really does reflect the origin of our culture and teachings, and certainly no uniqueness exists um, of this oneness of itself, you know. Um, and um, but um, you know, uh, you've got um, uh, you've really got um, uh, you know uh, friendly fire, of course, uh, as we talked about in our past program of uh, 400,000 uh, United States boys. Um, that have been killed, and 80% um, 80, uh, 80 of those uh, boys that have been killed 
um, which is 20%, really was from friendly fire. Um, and uh, what's going on there um, that um, um, you know, soldiers really um, uh, have a loss of love, um, but that they've been uh, trained to, to be with something which where what's above can even have been a, a, perhaps a loss of love, you know. Um, uh, we really need to be very caring very much about um, our um, uh, armed forces and people um, and service people very, very much. Um, and um, and my father certainly didn't risk his life uh, risk, uh, saving American boys, um, which he did on the front lines um, as a medic, um, and, um, you know, and not to live necessarily a good life himself afterward, uh, but that um, he didn't do this necessarily to certainly be his grandchild, for instance, uh, not have a father, you know, which um, American, certainly the American system is a fatherless sort of a system, you know. Um, but um, the um, it, it, it's really um, not a closed box, certainly, you know, um, and... Um, um, we've got to go beyond uh, jet fuel, you know, in the water um, and how does it contaminate everything and um, why should that be that way, you know. Um, but um, the uh, frontal lobe, uh, frontal temporal lobe in dementia and things and um, uh, violence uh, stimulate sort of uh, conditions um, uh, uh, where um, there's a whole range of difficulty for people uh, to initiate or to move or to have moved more slowly or to have involuntary sort of movements and things. And um, uh, all the uh, omega-6 fats and things that people are eating um, really um, isn't helping and that causes ever more toxic beta amyloid plaques and things, you know, to form um, in the brain. But energy and motion of itself are just a person really... Um, centered around um, their integratedness in their pleasure and interest um, and recognizing this as the uh, 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 major state to be because uh, no matter what is happening, um, it's possible for you to really um, remain in this very, very uh, fine uh, state. Um, but um, otherwise, uh, there could be um, a, a state otherwise, it's sort of as more uh, um, uh, not the part of police resistance, but, um, uh, but resistance. And that's difficulty to initiate and to move, to have moved more slowly. Um, and, um, and then that's all conditions that have gone on uh, psychologically and things that could have been other than allowing proper dopamine and serotonin to function within a person um, and a child as the child grows up to be an adult. Uh, but that, that's by itself um, um, energy in motion and not being put correctly um, can have zombieized, you know. Um, but um, you know, um, you've uh, you've really really uh, got uh, not, um, a um, uh, sort of the first uh, trigger of unpleasantness, you know. Um, and um, if that was just a snake bite, I guess it's just simply a snake bite, isn't it? And that there's no interpretation of it, um, and we're not judging the body's uh, a reaction at all, and so. Uh, Brady uh, isn't released and histamine isn't released and uh, inflammation and uh, uh, edema and those things are, 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 are controlled. Um, and the mind is something which is uh, uh, controlled that just by having been empty of itself. But typically, whatever it was which was the first trigger of that unpleasantness, um, the... Um, uh, what we could talk about, which is the value of uncut wood, is not adding to that, which is the added reaction. And that's the second trigger. Um, and these are what we call uh, where people are other than able to be remained um, with their energy and motion um, in their um, uh, stability. And um, maturity really is the ability for one to be able to manage um, emotion and beingness in their life. Um, and be responsible for everybody in being this uh, around. But typically done um, what is um, after uh, there could have been an initial trigger of some unpleasantness uh, experienced was what a person's response was, which is the strategy. But how do you um, um, accept um, um, having achieved 
some think, and some people have fear of success of itself because then what happens after that? Um, and then, um, um, uh, yeah, uh, and then uh, what happens if uh, you, you other than get what it is that's uh, necessary in the moment? Um, how do you process things? This is a strategy, uh, and um, you, you have degrees of excellence. But typically done, could persons listening agree uh, that when something was a trigger for them, uh, that they typically did that then, which was the second response, uh, 10,000 times um, over and over and over and over again um, and perpetually throughout, um, and they can have not necessarily had the ability to have moments of their dreaming to let things go, that even their body could be healing up. Um, but I'm really caring very much, as people are listening, uh, that I really love you and I really care about you and that that this is a beautiful voice uh, for you to hear inside and that a note would really be missing um, if you were not here um, and a colour would not be here if you you were not here and um, you you really would be uh, missed incredibly. Um, and I really care very much uh, for people out there um, to feel and hear this voice inside themselves um, that you're really doing a good job. Thank you very much. Um, and I really, really uh, love you. Um, the, um, the, the, uh, the second trigger really being associated as this is uh, being more um, uh, uh, either associated or dissociated uh, because you, you're associating towards something, aren't we? And you're dissociated away from other things. But in the process of you being associated towards your emptiness as I, um, there's not any second trigger. Um, needed of any associated or dissociated neural network, and then but those second triggers and things that occur uh, for people as you uh, can uh, get a bit of a, a feeling of what we're talking about here. Those second triggers sort of occur without a first trigger necessarily being present, even as imaginedness could have been even the first trigger, which a lot is actually an imaginedness, which is the first trigger. Um, and these are things which we can really uh, recognise and um, uh, clear away. But otherwise, then um, other triggers after that, of course, which is really the third uh, triggers, and then that can be many, which include sort of a, um, a greed because people want to avariciously own or hold or uh, control, or and then um, you know um, hate and botheredness and anger and delusion um, kind of tricked uh, a person. To be of putness uh, personally, um, and then who's doing that? Actually, all of those other triggers, and then how many times can it have been done? Uh, but perhaps um, over ten thousand times. But the second reactions are for generally some positive adaptive uh, reason, um, though secondary negative consequences often exist because um, our actions can be not really. Uh, from an emptiness and really doing what we can to be supportive of the people that we're working with as we can. Uh, but sometimes you need to put your foot down, you know what I mean? But suffering really is felt um, by the body's uh, central nervous system um, and um, hypothalamic uh, pituitary um, adrenal access. Um, and this really is by your um, endocrine um, brain. And... Um, your energy in motion and how relaxed you are and how cool you are in the moment really is a matter of your ability to be able to multiple process and um, get things done. Um, but um, we could otherwise be in a dreamlike state and um, uh, instruments that was put in front of us can have caused us to become zombieized ourselves and um, held we don't know how to get out of uh, a pattern of surfing once um, somebody really has little uh, dopamine or serotonin or hasn't uh, uh, developed a pattern of being in the day uh, that really allows them to feel um, satisfied in their being uh, uh, by just simply being empty. But um, we've had to have a lot of things done, which that's not correct. Uh, but... Uh, the anterior frontal um, a cingulate cortex harmonizes our activity. The um, septal region of our brain needs to be firing 
and as this is firing, interest and pleasure is existing, and that's causing our frontal cortex to be um, active, and uh, inflammation becomes logged in the frontal cortex, and as you have an interest and pleasure, um, as you're uh, with the stranger and unusual, um, and um, you're lifting this veil of illusion, and um, this is um, um, exposing to you um, uh, things of a f forgotten dimension. Really. Your frontal cortex and uh, it has to, has to be active in in um, logging new information. And then, as you're dreaming tonight, as you have your slow dream wave uh, sleep pattern uh, incurred, uh, the information then becomes logged in the postmodal uh, cortex area and then becomes more in long-term memory, having the ability to be able to access this uh, for several weeks afterwards. Uh, if you entrain even water that is uh, living um, to an entrained uh, memory of a pattern, it can ha retain the memory of this for up to um, six weeks or more. But um, the um, interest and pleasure stimulate um, access to the frontal cortex and the frontal cortex is much more connected to the back of the brain uh, than the right hemisphere and um, it has a lot more grey matter and it's sort of on-off fast switch and um, it's involved in uh, planning and sequencing things and the anterior frontal cingulate cortex is an area of the brain which harmonises our activity um, and um, can be considered sort of like part of the executive guidance, which is uh, yeah, letting you know what's too much, what's not enough. And you need blood flow to these regions, Luki. Um, but the um, um, uh, various areas of our uh, brain, we have, for instance, uh, an area of our brain which is a very um, a fibrous and, um, um, and the uh, corpus uh, uh, that, that we have a bundle of connective fibres uh, between both our hemispheres and there's a little a foronex um, which the front part of the brain can be sloshed against um, and if it does it can cause um, a damage and any um, uh, um, concussion to the brain at all uh, can create um, all sorts of behavioural uh, challenges including um, uh, 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 transient states of amnesia and this sort of thing um, but, um, but then certainly um, transient states of amnesia uh, can be uh, caused because of the added reactions uh, that people have that they do 10,000 times themselves um, because I am is, uh, or I awareness really um, doesn't exist but as I awareness does exist um, in your health and wellness without um, um, me telling you anything, um, you are applying uh, uh, principles and syntax of behaviour, what we're talking about. But, um, the amygdala and the tegmentum uh, are areas of the brain which are, is involved in uh, aversion and uh, repugnance and avoidance and um, a dissociation and sort of like moving away from things. Um, and um, uh, looking at the outside more and away um, and directions like that versus uh, uh, being more going uh, towards things having been and moving towards things moving along um, and uh, having things within us um, but then uh, if um, we were directed ever more other than um, in this integrated self as we're talking uh, but that we could have been focused on that over there um, um, the, uh, the central nervous system, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis um, really is changed as a result of either your feeling states of pleasure which creates whole brain patterning or aversion which creates inhibited and limited mind function and limited brain function and only co uh, uh, allows a behaviour to be that uh, rote, learnt, short sequenced uh, by, uh, like um, Tourette syndrome even is an example of this um, but the frontal cortex of somebody really is remain more in their um, interest and pleasure and their caringness uh, you can become aware more that 
uh, new information is coming in and being given to you um, that you can be applying. And, and it is, this is really your executive guidance existing and uh, this is becoming active and ever your awareness more about this beautiful voice you have, which is your familiar voice. And out of the 10,000 tonal ranges uh, that's possible that you can hear, um, there's one uh, tonal range and um, you're really paying attention to this voice, right? Uh, as it's making sense. And um, this is the uh, voice of the face of ease, Will um, Lukey. But anterior uh, frontal cortex, singular sort of area in the cortex, harmonizes our activity. And, now, and the insular area of our brain um, is another area anatomically uh, in the brain which senses internal states and things. And um, yeah, the whole brain patterning is more a polar completeness. But um, if you've really got people, of course, um, a lot of these people who um, are in charge of the uh, media, which is a monopoly, like the top patsy, Ted Turner, or Murdoch, for instance, um, uh, they take really orders more um, given um, and connected to the hand above the government. Um, but that, um, of course, uh, the news really about soldiers' suicide really are more killed than more than killed in action um, is really, um, uh, of course, a great uh, uh, a, 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 a tragedy. And uh, I feel such a deep uh, uh, shame of society. Um, but that um, people need to be aware that um, a phantom could have been in charge and that you and I really need to be um, ever more aware that we really only can have a proper leadership as um, we have a, the government working as a people and the people really need to own the growth of the money supply. But otherwise, um, all the news sort of just are, are reeling um, against um, not recognising what uh, insanity is existing in um, allowing a private person to own the growth of the money supply. And then... Um, control uh, people um, um, around. It's so amazing that when I do this show, the people around me all of a sudden just disappear and they start doing other things um, other than paying attention. It's so unbelievable, you know. Um, but then lots of noises happen. I wonder if everybody heard my door slam. That's just the noise of the wind. But, um, um, uh, you know, uh, you really... Um, a one billion being given to the UN by... Um, that pop up uh, um, patsy of the Hanover government, Ted Turner, just like Murdoch, really. I don't know necessarily that that it's a people person, but maybe Ted's a bit more of a people person than Murdoch, who Murdoch really, really um, is sort of an own person and doesn't own anything and is just a phantom, really, um, and is not a people, a person at all, not at all, <clears throat> you know because of what the tribe is that um, he just is allowed to have his name uh, put to. Um, but one billion given to the UN uh, it, it really um, is uh, a, a message um, uh, coming from Ted that apparently we are more evolved uh, in ourselves not to be fighting. Um, I think that's a very good, uh, a beautiful beingness. But, um, of course... Um, um, it's not really dealing with the situation, you know, not at all. Um, and it's sort of like an ostrich with his head in the bloody sand. And what a bloody idiot, I'm sorry. But, um, but, but people in America here need to own the boat of the money supply themselves. Thank you very much, Ted. Uh, you know what I mean? And um, Rupert, um, you know, if you're listening, um, you know, America need to own the boat of the money supply themselves, all right? Um, and um, soldier suicide is just your put an instrument of unhappiness in his hands, and uh, to be fatherless, and fathers not to be with their sons, sons not to be with their fathers. Um, and that's going on to my son, just exactly what it is. And um, I think the message is uh, for males who commit suicide the world over that it's a message of a loss of love, mate. Um, that what, that's what that is a message of. It's, it's a message of a loss of love, all right? Um, uh, but, um, look, I think it's really stupid, um, Ted, if you're listening, you know what I mean? Um, and, and, and Rupert, and then everybody who's in the club there. It's really ridiculous. 
you know what you're doing. I know what you've got to do. You've got to clear those landmines away, definitely. You know what I mean? But stop planting more, you know what I mean? And it's more than just that, isn't it? Um, but if you're only putting money into ambulances, you know, which that's nice, isn't it? Um, and hospitals sort of thing, uh, that's very nice, isn't it? It's lovely. Uh, but are you really doing what you can to stop uh, uh, what's going on and having a, a, um, a more uh, a, uh, innovation and taking hold of today's innovation here right now, which is new and get rid of yesterday's solution which is part of the problem. Uh, but if you're just a part of uh, putting uh, problems and building problems and then putting a little solution uh, forward uh, that runs money uh, and things, uh, but just, uh, well, thank you very much. I uh, want a little amount of money to be nothing. Um, we need to be creating of the money ourselves, thank you very much, and putting forward what's necessary. Um, that's a bit more like a fence, mate, you know what I mean? Uh, why would you bother, mate, honestly, uh, to just go past the point of um, deciding that you would put all your money and your effort into um, ambulances to take people away that fell at the bottom of the cliff um, when you really wouldn't be given a crap much about putting a fence and a sign up, you know what I mean? Um, do you think that that might just sort of save a bit of money, you know what I mean? And then money wouldn't be spent, you know what I mean? Um, you wouldn't be spending it on that, would you? Um, and um, and so it's really like a ostrich with its head in the sand, you know. Every anyone who really is talking right now and and um, and giving money to the United Nations, uh, but not really uh, saying, look, um, people need to own the gold for the money supply. Thank you very much, Ted um, and uh, and Rupert. You know what I mean? Um, and um, lots and lots of people are saying that, you know, uh, but would. Would you come out and say that's not so? You know what I mean? Um, I don't think so. Um, you're, um, you've really got, um, you know, um, got to take hold of today's innovation or just get be stuck and remain with yesterday's solution, all right? But, but uh, why don't you just, you know, before you sit down, uh, I feel excited a little bit, like you can get something done, you know what I mean? Um, uh, take hold, really, of what we're talking about here of today's innovation, all right? If you cannot better it, um, the, uh, um, then, then the world should be behind, I'm sorry. Uh, but um, uh, that's a, that would have been a stuckness in yesterday's solution, all right? But um, why don't you start taking action a little bit more in yourself because... You know, it's not good enough just for you to really be uh, all a uh, lovey-dovey in your spiritual being, but you really don't have any, any idea of the law. You know, the law could be deadly, um, you know, um, and then you have no idea about nutrition, you know. Um, that could be deadly, you know, just as we've been talking about all of this insulin growth factor and stuff like that, you know. But um, if um, brain scans are, are of kids that are three years old, uh, could be applied. Uh, why not a behavioural index, which actually really is what creates wellness? I mean, if you can pick out uh, a brain scan to find a future criminal, I mean, um, is that really sort of not what you're really doing? Is it not what you're doing is to find what is necessary uh, uh, to be healed and um, assisted to be changed to be whole? But if you've if you're just um, um, got a news item like you're picking uh, a scans out, um, you know, of kids that are three years old um, and you're part of the American Association of Advanced Science and that's being funded by Rockefeller, I wonder if he would even care that you frame things so damn negatively for him. I don't feel that he would care for that. I personally feel that if brain scans could be done, uh, they could be done just as everything else to assist a person to become more whole. Um, but if you've just created a goat jumping on top of another goat, how do you stop um, people just um, uh, not wanting to save $5 because you could really have a, a better light bulb, which really is biologically friendly and not got lead in it or something, you know? But um, if you reckon that small areas of the brain, like the amygdala, which could have atrophied um, because of... Um, 
uh, excitotoxic compounds, which is in food, uh, like baby food, and is fed enormously to institutionalised children, but not children who have mother and father. Isn't that interesting? Institutionalised children are drugged, are pin cushioned, just like our soldiers, um, which I really weep about. I'm personally disgusted. And listen, um, if people just like uh, Ted and these others and David and all other these people are, are, are not having someone there framing things more positively and you're unaware of your createdness of the mess, um, you know, there's a part which really is about loving, you know, and you really need to be finding alternative ways of loving. Uh, puppy dogs, um, you know, and um, really uh, a plants, you start looking after plants, you start uh, getting, um, uh, you, have you watered a plant lately? Are you listening? No, I'm asking you. Have you watered a plant? What are you doing? Are you caring for something? If you're not caring for something and you're listening right now, stop what you've been doing and start doing something new. All right? Because the part of you which is really your lovingness, this needs to be a more, you know, integrated. And the part of the tour, let's forgive that. You know what I mean? Um, let's forgive it. Um, yeah, because uh, that, that is a very, very important. Um, you have to have a candidate for conciliation. And, um, and then why not have candidates for conciliation? But the only conciliation could be because candidates exist. And conciliation as a process really is because... Um, well, first, you know, you need to be forgiven, but you're my son and you're my daughter and um, you're my baby and I'm really caring very much about you and I don't want anybody necessarily to say anything that uh, causes you other than to wake up and just simply uh, live life and be happy in, in your happiness. And that's something that you can be and have within yourself but um, certainly you've got this which you should care for, which is also uh, the civic function in your being. You know what I mean? Um, and um, I think personally um, a much, much, much more needs to be given to the soldiers and um, all of that have been involved in that, which is not a way to settle things. It's a groveling, all right? It's an absolute groveledness, and it means that you really haven't thought that you've got... Uh, you've read the Sailor's Bible, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Why not read that? And why not apply these technical teachings which we're giving you right now? You're just roaming around like a bloody moonstruck cow. Uh, if you've got an instrument in front of you, you are perpetual, just like um, God help us, uh, uh, obsessive compulsive. Stop. Take a breath. Relax. Don't be so grasshopperish. Jumping from here, jumping from there, jumping all over the place, God help us. This is not I aware, all right? Um, you could pursue crime, certainly, um, at a level in the home, because the first forms of crime that occur to children really is not talking to them and people not talking to each other and being aloof. That is violence. That's the major form of violence that's happening in America. The second major form of violence that's happening in America is people are being distracted and using distraction. They surf stupid things. They remain with stupid stuff. They don't get anything done. They try to reduce, uh, but um, they reduce things so that what's essential is gone so nothing gets done at all, and absolutely time pass, you can see this going on. Look, take hold of today's innovation right now. I know that you think I'm not talking to you, but I am. I'm letting you really know this, all right? Um, the uh, suicide of the BBC reporter in the news, of course, uh, is, uh, and um, his claim really of sexual harassment being ignored I mean, um, uh,
claim really of sexual harassment being ignored. I mean, um, uh, claim really of sexual harassment being ignored. I mean, um, uh, claim really of 